100% not strength? Is it achievable? Let's find out. What is up fishos? In today's video, you're gonna learn how to tie a PR knot. Welcome to the third episode of the Fishing Knot series. And if we're just meeting, I'm Anthony from Real Outfitters Co. I'm the director here and our goal is to connect fishers around the globe to quality products, tips and tutorials. So if you're interested in staying up to date with our latest videos, hit that subscribe button and the bell next to it and stay notified for whenever we post a new video. Also, if you stick with me till the end, I've got something you'll definitely be interested in. So stay tuned. The PR knot is commonly used to tie a braided line to monofilament or fluorocarbon leader material. If tied correctly, the knot strength will reach 100% and that means that your line will break before this knot fails. Other reasons why the PR knot is so popular to sport fishers is because the knot profile is very slim. Now, this helps your line flow through your rod guides much easier, especially when casting, or let's say for example, you're fishing a micro jigging rod with small guides on it at the tip. You're gonna want a braid to mono knot that flows through without as much resistance. Most anglers are torn between the PR knot and the FG knot which is why I created another video on the key differences between each knot. If you'd like to check that out, it should pop up on your screen about now. So, the things you're gonna need for this PR knot tutorial are obviously your braided mainline and your leader material, some braid scissors or pliers, uh, a lighter to burn back with, and also one of these PR knot bobbins. So this is the base zone PR knot bobbin, and it's got a little tensioner on the side here that just controls the rate that the line comes off of the bobbin spool. It's a good little unit. I've got the link to it in the description. Uh, and it's a fraction of the cost compared to some of the other big name brands out there. So if you wanna check it out, go for it. Uh, other than that, let's dive in. All right guys, so first things first, we've got our PR bobbin knotter here and we're gonna adjust the tension on the tensioner knob here. So if that's wound all the way clockwise, that's applied as much tension on that bobbin spool as possible. So we're gonna wind that back one, two, three times, and then test with our fingers, and just see if that feels right. So to me that feels right, uh, it's going to allow the line to come off that bobbin spool uh, at a rate that is going to wrap tight and also be easy enough to wind around the fluorocarbon leader material. So once that's set, I've got my braided line on my right hand side, that's 50 pound braid and I've got my 60 pound leader material on my left. So, ready to go. So I'll put that braided line through the ceramic tube. Grab it on the other end. And then we basically wanna wind that in between those two rubbers there. So that's basically wedged in between those rubbers. And then I like to just grab the main line and just pull that back a little bit just to bring that tag end down a little bit. So we're, we've got minimal tag there. And then wind that main line onto the bobbin spool about 10 times. And that's going to allow enough line on there to finish the knot. So once that's ready, grab our leader material. And then from the end of the ceramic tube to where I'm going to pinch both lines on this side, we want to allow about 10 to 12 centimeters with a bit more spare in behind my fingers there. 
and then we're going to pinch those two lines together pinching there with my right hand and then we want to wrap that around those two fingers and that's going to be the position Oop. that's going to be the position that we do our wraps in okay guys so now we've got our two lines wrapped around our two fingers here and I just get that braided main line up over my arm so that it doesn't get tangled when we start the wraps so holding our leader material firm we just start that bobbin winding around anti -clock, uh, sorry clockwise until it pretty much uses up most of that line and then to get it around the other way I just started off with a couple of wraps just so we can get it to go back on the loops we just created so holding nice and close there uh, we want to wind the bobbin away from us to continue the wraps back down. And so once you've gone about five centimeters there, you can let that go and see that knot profile. So that's two, two wraps all the way up one way and then all the way back the other way. And then we're ready for the next part. Okay guys, so back into our first person view here. This is what our knot profile should look like. Nice tight wraps and the way this knot is working is the braided line is actually biting right down onto the fluorocarbon leader line almost like it's one continuous continuous line so now we can actually release this bobbin just by pulling that tag out like that and then we can just untwist that braid And what we want to do is we want to just get that tag end and we want to do our alternating half hitches to lock it off. So firstly we can go over the top of the braid and the main line, uh, sorry the braid and the leader material and then Bring that tag through. Lock it off with one, pull that down nice and tight. And once we've got that first one down, we can continue on with the rest. So in our under over, pull that down nice and tight and I like to do 10 of these now you should start to see this pattern forming of the alternating half hitches so once we get to do about eight of those, we then cut the leader material back. So I'll show you that. Over.
How are you getting it, guys? Does it make sense? Give me a yes or a no in the comments and let me know. Okay guys, so once we've done about eight to 10 half hitches, we can then trim this tag end back. So if you leave about five mil there, trim that off and then we can lubricate this part of the braid so that when we burn this leader material back it's not gonna damage any of the braided line so we'll lubricate that okay grab our lighter burn that back being very careful give it a bit of a tap form that little bit of a mushroom there and that is just going to hold the rest of the half hitches together so all up we might probably do about say 15 half hitches so we'll just continue them under over making sure that our half hitch goes over both the main line and the leader material pull all of those down nice and tight Under. Over. And then we can just continue the half hitches so it actually goes onto the braided line there and they end up just pulling behind that leader material just there You can even just give that a bit of a pull from the main line and the actual leader line just to lock that in up against the mushroom of the fluorocarbon leader material and then continue on so we'll go under over and under okay pull that one down nice and tight So guys, the way we're going to finish this knot is with a risotto finish. So we'll grab that tag end, wrap it over the main line, creating a backward six. And then we want to just take the tag and wind it around the main line. Three, four, five times. 
and then we want to just place that parallel to the main line and we want to grab that loop and just wrap it forward and that's just going to unravel what we just twisted so once that's unraveled you can grab that tag and just pull that up and then cinch that down to the half hitches and then that has just pulled up nice and tight creating like a taper on the end of it and that just finishes it off nice and slim so that we can then trim our braided tag end off nice and close and then the last thing that I do is lubricate this area here and then we can just burn that little braided tag end back so being very careful to not damage any of the knot nice and carefully and then that tag end is nice and flush I'll just try and put my hand behind it so you can see it see it better beautiful if you like this video and want to see more don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell to be notified when we post a new video I said I had something for you all as a gift a 15% off gift voucher to our website www.realoutfitterscoat.com.au all you need to do is follow the link in the description and you'll be on your way to receiving your discount voucher. We've got a bunch of different reels and accessories on there, including the PR knot bobbin that you saw in today's video. I hope you all enjoyed the tutorial. Leave me a comment down below and let me know your thoughts. It's time for me to go. I'm out for now. See you on the next one.